second opinions are important. We get them from doctors as well as from software engineers. We want stuff, whatever the stuff is, to be reviewed and we want feedback. Today, however, we will not talk about second opinions or suggestions from doctors nor from software engineers. We will talk about one AI reviewing work of another AI with us, me in this case, being manager of both of those. Today we'll explore the possibilities of using a few AI agents to do code reviews. We'll see how they integrate into pull requests in GitHub, whether they can find the issues in code written by a different AI in an IDE, and how we can incorporate those reviews into our development workflow. If you're not already using AI for code reviews, I'm sure you will by the end of this video. On the other hand, if you're already using something, you might benefit from a comparison since we will not use one AI agent for reviews, but two. The only thing better than a second opinion is a third opinion, right? Okay, this is the moment when I fast forwarded to the end of development of a new feature. Once I'm done with code, I tell the AI agent that we are done. That in turn triggers a set of actions which I will not explore today, mainly because I did all that in that video over there. Instead, I want to focus on a few steps in the middle. Once the pull request is created, we can see that the AI requested a code review from Copilot. That's equivalent of asking for a second opinion after receiving a diagnosis from a doctor. That second opinion is, in software industry, known as a code review. The major difference is that this time it will not be done by humans, but by an AI agent. Actually, that's not correct. Code review will be done by two AI agents. Why, you may ask? Well, there can be two answers to that question. One can be, why not? It might be okay to spend a few extra cents to get multiple opinions related to the work we did. The second and a much better answer is that I want to compare the results of two agents. One being GitHub Copilot code review and the other being Codo Merge. Copilot is the solution I've been using since it was released sometime in April or May 2025 and I heard the good things about Codo so I wanted to check it out. Both are already configured and should have already finished reviewing the changes proposed in that PR. So let's take a look at them directly in GitHub first. Kodo modified the description of the PR itself and that feels probably great, I guess. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure actually. As, as long as your descriptions are not very detailed, as is the case with that PR we are looking at right now, that's great. Otherwise it's going to mess up your PR description, which does not feel good. We can see that it added PR type, detailed description of what was done, changes walkthrough that splits files into different groups, and finally the note that we can execute slash help with a question if we would like to interact with Coda directly from that PR. That's a great start, or noise, depending on how you want to do whatever you're doing. So far I think that Code is doing great, and a bit disappointed that Copilot did not summarize the PR as well. Maybe it did in the comments. We'll see. Further on, Code created a PR review guide comment with a few key observations. For example, one of them shows that there is some duplicate code. That sounds like something we should correct before merging that PR, right? The next in line is a comment made by GitHub Copilot this time. Just as Kodo, it also provided a short description of the PR itself. It is less detailed than what Kodo gave us, so that's a negative point. On the other hand, I'm not sure I like Kodo's approach of modifying the PR itself. If I made a more detailed text of the PR, it would be a mess. I think I prefer keeping everything review agents do as comments, like what Copilot does. Further on, just as Coda, Copilot provided a few suggestions. This is also good news, bad news type of a situation for Copilot. The suggestions provided by Coda are slightly better, but I like the format how Copilot organizes more. It organizes them in the same way as a person would do it if uh, reviewing the code itself highlighting relevant parts uh, and adding comments, right? This is the same format humans would use to review the code, the PR. 
There is one more comment over there. This time it comes from Kodo again. It created PR code suggestions with even more suggestions that follows the same good news, bad news type of pattern. On one hand, Kodo does provide more suggestions and often finds sometimes important things we should improve that Copilot misses. That was good news for Kodo. The bad news is that it's a mess. It updated peer description and it created two comments and all those are organized in a way that it's hard to figure out what is what and what to focus on. It's a mess. Better suggestions mess how it organizes it. And there's even more checkbox which I don't fully understand. If you click it, we get additional suggestions from Coda. So the question is, why? What is the purpose of asking for more? Are there suggestions that are important that Coda decided not to include from the get-go? Or are there irrelevant suggestions that we shouldn't see unless we are very eager to waste our time? Which type of suggestions are missing there? I don't get it. All in all, so far, Coda is better at detecting issues while Copilot organizes them in a better way. Copilot is providing suggestions in the same way as human reviewers would. That, however, might not matter. It might not matter how those agents organize information since we might not be looking at them from a browser, at least not today. Apart from what we already talked about, it might be important to know that both solutions can apply suggested fixes and that we can initiate a chat with them directly from a browser. Those features might matter to some people, maybe to you, but I find them irrelevant in this context. I don't fix issues, no matter who reported them from a browser. I prefer switching to an ID to continue working on that PR or any other PR. So let's do just that. We are back in Cursor and we are in the middle of the process I set up. The agent is waiting for a confirmation to retrieve peer reviews made by Copilot. So let's allow it to do just that. As a result, the agent retrieved the data, evaluated it and even concluded that those seem like reasonable suggestions. Imagine that. One AI agrees that the other AI did a good job. <laughs> In this case, those do look like reasonable suggestions, so the natural response is to apply them, right? Unlike Copilot reviews, which I already instructed the agent to include in the process, Coda is not a part of my workflow just yet. So I'll instruct the AI to also include Coda comments in the review. The rest is more or less the same process. The agent fetched the suggestions made by Coda, it listed them and asked me to choose which one, if any, I would like to implement. From there on, it's all about choosing which ones I'm interested in, letting the AI do the actual work while I'm monitoring the progress and correcting it when it does something it shouldn't. Once all the suggestions I believe are worth applying are there, the rest follows the predefined process of merging the PR and doing whatever else is left to do. I will skip that part since it's outside of the scope of this video and I will move towards pros and cons of using AI for code reviews and a short comparison of Copilot and Coda. Now, if we ignore the cost of using AI to do code reviews, I see no reason not to do it. In the worst case scenario, the suggestions are pointless and we ignore them. In the best case scenario, AI will detect the issues we might want to fix. The way I see it, using AI to do code reviews is a no-brainer. I cannot imagine a reason not to use it, apart from price. It's a clear, clear win. However, I am also disappointed. I would expect those solutions to do more. Instead of doing analysis of the changes to the code alone, I think it would be truly beneficial if they could fetch the issue related to a PR and try to figure out whether the PR makes sense. One thing is to find a potential issue in code snippets and completely other to analyze whether a PR is actually providing a valid implementation of a PRD it implements. If I would make an analogy with doctors and asking a second opinion, what the AIs are doing right now is similar to a second doctor checking whether the steps of a surgery we were suggested to do are correct rather than checking whether the surgery itself will fix whatever it is supposed to fix. Nevertheless, that's the state of AI is used for code reviews. They are not everything I expect them to be, but they're still very useful. 
When it comes to the differences between Code Merge and Copilot Code Review, well, both are very similar. There are no huge differences. The major differentiating factors are that Code is a bit better at finding actual issues and proposing solutions, while the way Copilot organizes the information is better and easier to digest. If I would have to choose only one of those two, well, Code is overall a better choice. It's more important what it finds than how it presents it. So, based on that information alone, I would say pick Kodo. On the other hand, Copilot is everywhere. The chances are that you are using it as an agent in VS Code, or that you're letting it resolve issues directly in GitHub, or that you are using it in some other form. It might already be part of your GitHub subscription. As such, it is probably already there, and you're likely already using it in some form or another. So it makes sense to use it for code reviews as well. That leaves Kodo as a great choice for two groups of people. Those who are not using Copilot, those who prefer other agents in their IDEs and terminals and whatever else, would find Kodo being a better choice because it is better. Just not better enough for someone who is using Copilot to switch. The second group of people who would benefit greatly from Kodo are those who are not using GitHub. If you're a GitLab user, Kodo is a great choice. Still, I must say that I'm disappointed with the general state of code review agents. They're doing the same job that agents we might be using while coding are doing. We could easily add a prompt at the end of our coding session that says, hey, you know what? Evaluate all changes I made so far and tell me whether there is something I should improve. That's all it takes to replace those tools. So I expected more and I got less, but that less is still valuable. If you're doubting between the two, code is better, but not significantly better for someone to switch from Copilot and to pay extra for that privilege. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Cheers.